9-5. All Brotherhood of Steel units are to return to the Cambridge Police Station immediately for reassignment. Repeating. This is Paladin Dance on frequency 9-5. They don't mistake us for must have spent a whole case of ammo holding this site. Suppose that means we missed all the fun. No one's going to move on this Wondering. place now that the Pridwin's in town. Fearing. If it was up to me, I'd take every feral mutie and synth and shoot them into Excuse space. Excuse me, Paladin Dance. Cavalry's arrived. And it looks like they sent in the big guns. That ship. I've never seen anything like it. Amazing, isn't it? We call our ship the Pridwin. She's loaded with enough troops and supplies to mount a major offensive. If she's here, Elder Maxon's here. And that means we're going to war. gonna be a quick war with that thing on our side yeah but for who that's the plan if history's proven anything it's that an overwhelming show of force has a chance of halting a conflict before it begins that being said you're about to get to know the Pridwin up close and personal I've received orders that were both to report to her immediately follow me up to the roof of the police station we're going for a little ride The Pridwin is a magnificent ship, and we're lucky to have her in our arms. You don't see a lot of vertebrates in this kind of shape, you know. That minigun in front of you is loaded and ready to fire. If you spot anything hostile during the flight, I suggest you put it to good use. Make sure you properly identify your targets before you start shooting. We don't want to have any mishaps and fire on the local.
should be coming into view just ahead. We'll be meeting Lancer Captain Kells on the flight deck. Just stick close to me and answer all of his questions. Make something out of the Commonwealth yet. Permission to come aboard, sir? Permission granted, and welcome back, Paladin. Allow me to be the first to congratulate you on a successful mission. And is this our new recruit? Yes, sir. I feel promoted her to initiate, and I'd like to sponsor her entry into our rankings personally. Yes, we've read your reports. You'll be pleased to know that Elder Maxon's approved your request. Place the recruit in your charge. Thank you, sir. And my current orders? You are to remain on the Pridman and await further instructions. Very good, sir. Ad Victorium, Captain. Ad Victorium, Alan. Don't get any ideas, Synth. So, you're the one Paladin Dance has taken under his wing. <laughs> you don't look much like a soldier to me. Then what's a soldier supposed to look like? A soldier is supposed to be an efficient killing machine. Not a relic from the past playing catch up with the rest of the world. If Dance hadn't stepped in and vouched for you, we wouldn't even be having this conversation. Accepting outsiders like yourself has proven disastrous in the past. I've read Paladin Dance's reports. You might expect an endorsement like that to grant you a great deal of latitude with us. But let me make one thing clear. The Brotherhood of Steel has traveled to the Commonwealth with a specific goal in mind. As the captain of this vessel, I won't allow anyone to jeopardize our mission. Understood? What exactly is your mission here? I'm not at liberty to say. Elder Maxon will be addressing the crew shortly, and I'm certain all of your questions will be answered. Now, was there anything else? Uh -huh. Not even a hint? Look. All I can tell you is that we're here directly in response to the data that Dance's recon team provided. Beyond that, you'll just have to wait until... Now dispense with the questions. That's all for now, soldier. Your orders are to proceed to the command deck for the address. If you have any questions, ask me now. Mm -hmm. What are my orders? Your orders are to proceed to Elder Maxon's address. Anything else? Yeah. Where can I get power armor? Only knights are allowed to wear Brotherhood power armor. Until Elder Maxon grants you that title, you'll have to make do with what you've got. Anything else? Can you tell me anything about Elder Maxon? Elder Maxon is the supreme commander of the... Without his tenacity and his vision, we'd still be a small group of complacent stragglers occupying the Citadel and the Capital Wasteland. In a mere decade, he's grown the Brotherhood of Steel into a major military force. He's an inspiration to us all. Is there anything else? I don't have any questions. Then I suggest you head over to the command deck and... Uh -huh. Dismissed, Initiate.
Maxon's address is being held on the command deck. Welcome aboard. Elder Maxon is holding his... Brothers and sisters, the road behind has been long and fraught with difficulty. Each and every one of you has surpassed my expectations by rapidly facilitating our arrival in the Commonwealth. You have accomplished this amazing feat without a hint of purpose or direction, and most impressively, without question. Now that the ship is in position, it is time to reveal our purpose and our beneath the Commonwealth. There is a cancer, known as the Institute. A malignant growth that needs to be cut before it infects the surface. They are experimenting with dangerous technologies that could prove to be the world's undoing for the second time in recent history. The Institute scientists have created a weapon that transcends the destructive nature of the atom bomb. They call their creation the Sin. A robotic abomination of technology that is free-thinking and masquerades as a human being. This notion that a machine could be granted free will is not only offensive, but horribly dangerous. And like the atom, if it isn't harnessed properly, it has the potential of rendering us extinct as a species. I am not prepared to allow the Institute to continue this line of experimentation. Therefore, the Institute and their sins are considered enemies of the Brotherhood of Steel and should be dealt with swiftly and mercilessly. This campaign will be costly, and many lives will be lost. But in the end, we will be saving humankind from its worst enemy. It's Ad Victoria. Ad Victoria. Ad Victoria. I care about them, you know, the people of the Commonwealth. I can see that. They're playing with fire, and we need to save them. Exactly. I just hope we're here in time. I refuse to allow the mistakes of the past to be repeated. What do you want from me? I want you to start taking responsibility for this planet. And from what I've read in Paladin Dance's reports, you've already begun that journey. Seeing as he's one of my most respected field officers, you couldn't get a better recommendation. Therefore, from this moment forward, I'm granting you the rank of knight. And, befitting your title, we're granting you a suit of power armor to protect you on the field of battle. Wear it with pride. I'll do my best to live up to it. I'm certain that you will. In any event, once you're finished becoming familiar with the Pridwin and my staff, report to the flight deck for your new orders. Welcome aboard the Pridwin, soldier. Make us proud. Communications array calibration test successful. Status report. Green across the board, sir. Nothing new. Good. Carry on. So how did it look out there? Dance. We've got a lot there of work are. ahead of us, brother. How did it go with Elder Maxon? Maxon seems so young. Compared to everyone else. Don't let his age fool you. Maxon's a brilliant tactician, a formidable warrior, and possesses an idealistic vision for the sure. I'd follow him anywhere. He's a very dedicated man. Of course he does. I just hope you appreciate how much of a chance I'm taking bringing you into the fold this quickly. Not to put too fine a point on it, but if you screw up, we go down together. Don't worry. I'll be careful. Good. Because we've got a lot of work ahead of us, and I don't want anything slowing us down. Now, I know you're eager to hop into a suit of power armor and take the fight to the Institute. But first things first. In order to be an effective part of the team, you need to learn your way around this ship and get to know its crew. Since I've been officially assigned to you as your sponsor, I'd recommend taking me along with you. Sounds good. Let's go. Outstanding. Congratulations on the promotion, Knight.
Income? So, the new recruit I heard about. You're the one who huh, not what I was expecting. Got it. There it is. Sounds like you're disappointed. I'm not disappointed, just surprised. Anyway, since you came down here to meet me, we may as well get it over with. My name's Ingram, and this lovely little grease pit is where you'll usually find me. If your power armor's too tight in the crotch, the Pridwin's about to crash into the ground, or a robot's gone haywire, you come see me. Sounds like you have a pretty full plate. Plate? Hell, I have a whole table's worth of duties around here. There isn't a day that goes by on this tub without five or six things breaking down. And since I'm stuck in this rig, I'm not quite as spry as I used to be. The work tends to pile up. I understand. Good. Anyway, I'm sure you're here to get your hands on some power armor. There's a pretty decent T-60 suit sitting in Bay 3 that's all yours. Oh, and if you need any work done on it, feel free to use the workshops around here. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to get back to work. Nothing to report right now, Knight. You know those synths with the plastic faces? They creep me the heck out. Feels like you can take on the world in there, doesn't it? Dr. Tegan. Step forward, Knight. Even though they've locked me in this blasted cage, I promise that I won't bite. Looks uncomfortable in there. It's not that bad. Now this is the stowage depot, and I, as you probably already guessed, am the ship's quartermaster, Proctor Tegan. The powers that be have me locked in here, so I can keep an eye on the Brotherhood's valuables. If you need to stock up on supplies before you head out on a mission, this is the place to buy them. That's good to know. I'm glad you're the agreeable type. When I tell most of the new recruits that they have to buy their own equipment, they give me the stink eye. The good news is by having a constant flow of caps, I'm able to buy whatever you bring me. Yeah, I'm mostly interested in weapons, but I'll take anything useful. Of course, if you're just looking to make a few caps on the side, I might have some extra work for you to do. I could... Use some extra caps. You need them, and I want you to spend them here. It just involves a little bit of heavy lifting and interacting with the local farms. And since I'm stuck up here manning this one man zoo, after you're done with the meet and greet, we can discuss the details. In the meantime, if you ever need anything else gun, a mod, even ammo you just let me know. Just set the books down anywhere. I'll get to them as soon as I can. What are you doing with all these books? I suppose I could stop working for a moment to address your question. Whatever suits you. Expanding the technological knowledge of the Brotherhood is what suits me. Since it's obvious that you aren't who I was expecting, would you mind telling me why you're here? Maxon wanted me to meet the crew. Ah, yes. Uh -huh. Under normal circumstances, I'd provide you with a proper orientation of my department. However, I'm woefully behind setting up research patrols, and unfortunately, I'm lacking the personnel needed. If you want my help, just ask already. I wasn't aware you were interested, Knight. As you patrol the Commonwealth, Keep your eyes open for blueprints, memos, manuals, books, charts. 
I'm authorized to pay you for each bundle of documents that you recover. And if you wish to be assigned to a research patrol, I have plenty of them waiting to be filmed. In any event, it was a pleasure to meet you, Knight. Glad you finally stopped by, soldier. Are you ready for your medical exam? What kind of medical exam? There's nothing to be alarmed about. It's my responsibility to make sure that you don't bring anything up here that could pose a threat to the crew. I'm going to ask you a series of medical-related questions and a first question. As a child, were you ever exposed to radiation for an extended period of time? There wasn't that much radiation around before the bombs fell. Before the bombs? What? Let, let me check my notes. You were a vault dweller? You're probably healthier than anyone else aboard. Anyway, sorry I missed that in your records. Just... Okay, second question. Have you ever had or come in contact with a person confirmed to be carrying a communicable disease? I hope that you're kidding. Not at all. However, I'll just assume that your answer to that one is a no. Third question. Sure. Have you ever had sexual relations with any species considered non-human? Well, there was this one really ugly guy in college. I mean... That hardly qualifies. Mm -hmm. Last question. Would you have any problems pulling the trigger on an enemy of the Brotherhood, whether they're human, formerly human, or machine? That's more of a morals question, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. I feel that the mental state of the crew is just as important as the physical. Anyone that hesitates firing in combat due to misguided moral standards certainly isn't Brotherhood material. So what about you? Nope. No problem whatsoever. Excellent. You'll fit in quite well around here. Excellent. I think I see no reason to prevent you from beginning your duties immediately. If you ever need medical assistance, you let me know. Can I help you today? Oh man, if I'm late for muster one more time, Captain Kells is gonna have me...
tighten up the heater. Like that. Kind of split the bit. Elder Maxon? Now that you've familiarized yourself with the Pridman's crew, are you ready for your next assignment, sister? Yes, Elder. Good. Let's get right to it, then. Shall we? Take a look over there. That's Fort Strong. And it's infested with super mutants. Having those aberrations of nature close enough to smell is making me sick to my stomach. To make matters worse, they're sitting on top of a massive stockpile of Fat Man shells we could use in our campaign. I want you to head over there, wipe out everything that moves, and secure that stockpile. Understood? What do these shells do? The Fat Man launcher is an essential part of the Brotherhood arsenal. A squad of troops armed with one of these is virtually unstoppable. If you ever have the pleasure of firing them, allow me to give you a word of advice. Don't fire one of them in close quarters. Is that enough to go on? Consider it done. Look, I realize you're eager to take the fight to the Institute, but it'll have to wait. The Brotherhood cannot allow those abominations to have a nuclear arsenal at their fingertips. It'll be a pleasure to exterminate that mutant filth. Now, we have a vertebrate on standby, fully armed and ready to depart. Use it to carry our message to Fort Strong, and wipe those dirty mutants from the face of the earth. Dismissed. <laughs>